It's important to remember that we have to keep raising up the next generation. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and uh, went out with my son and a couple of my boys and their sons uh, recently. And what we did is we had like a, a youth patrol, right? We, we helped our kids uh, start to develop the skills that we have been currently are developing, right? And so we started with some patrolling stuff and we just did some real easy patrolling. Uh, one of my buddies had some uh, property that we could patrol on, great size for the kids. And we worked on some bounding drills, some, uh, some short rushes, you know, I'm up, he sees me, I'm down kind of thing. And uh, it was really, really effective with this, you know, small trio of young boys and helping get them to learn to be dangerous and be deadly because we want to raise our sons to be warriors. That's very important. So uh, as we were doing that, which, you know, go out, raise your sons to be warriors, take them shooting, uh, take them patrolling, take them to do stuff so they grow up to be men who are dangerous, right? We want our sons to be dangerous men. Uh, my son is in jujitsu, not necessarily because jujitsu is so great or whatever, but because it is a, another way for him to learn to be dangerous. Uh, and I'm explicit with that. I tell him that I want you to be dangerous. That's important because we're not going to be violent, but we will be dangerous. And there's a difference. There's a distinction. We can probably have another video on that. Point being, as we're doing that, as we're raising our sons to be that way and think that way and, and have a healthy, positive outlook on life and being protectors and warriors and all these things, uh, there's some gear that goes along with that. So what I did is I put together a little battle kit, a little battle rattle for my son. And I thought that that would be a good video. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through my, my son's little battle rattle here. And hopefully this just gives you some ideas. Obviously it's not something you need to carbon copy. Currently uh, Citadel, me, uh, does not make any like kids battle belt, but I'll tell you what, after this, I'm seriously considering it um, because it's, it's just helpful to be able to have kit that you can like size to them, you know, and then they can grow in, in that and they can learn in that. So, uh, without further ado, this is again, one idea. We'll go through my son's battle rattle here and hopefully it spurs you into action, gives you ideas for how you can set your sons up so that they can win glory on the battlefield. Okay. And, and this is as always with all gear, right? This is a work in progress, but uh, first thing here I have is a boonie hat. I just bought this off Amazon because it's important to uh, have a boonie hat. So this is a boonie hat size for a kid. So that, that works out real well, right? Uh, also we have eyes and ears. They're not on the table right now, but I do make my son wear eyes and ears. Um, obviously, right? Cause we're shooting. Um, this is actually an Australian surplus shirt that I bought in. Oh, let's see if you can see that. Yeah. That I bought in extra, extra small. Uh, it's still too big for him to be honest. He'll have to grow into it, but I wanted to get him some kind of field shirt that he could wear while he's out. Right. So that he can feel part of the crew that might sound silly, but you know, if you and your boys are all decked out and you're, you're, uh, patrolling best, you know, it's good to help your sons feel like they're part of the team. And a good way to do that is to get them a nice field shirt. So there are not a lot of options again for kids out there. This is a surplus one that I got um, that hopefully will, will fill the role. He'll grow into it a little bit, but that way he can help. Again, he can feel cool and feel part of the team. Uh, just, I don't have it on the table here, but just for eyes, if you go on Amazon, I did find like some kids goggles that have like a strap uh, so that, you know, on your glasses, right? Like this part, especially on kids, when the earmuff comes over that glass, that can press into your head and uh, cause some pain. So I got some goggles with just a strap there and then put some kid sized ears on them. And that works out and it makes it a lot more comfortable. Um, second thing here. So this is a M and P 22, uh, M MP 15, 22, right? This is our 22 little AR rifle, right? Little 16 inch barrel gun thing here. Um, this is, I've, we've had a lot of fun with this. Uh, I did replace the buttstock. I got to do a review on this gun, honestly, but buttstock was crap. Uh, got rid of that. Um, safety is pretty mush, but over the overall, um, fun little gun, fun little, little helpful gun. So, um, we have that got a little red dot, some cheap Chinese, whatever red dot on it that holds zero. Um, and, and this is what we've been running for his, his rifle when we do the shooting part. Most of the time this just stays unloaded, but uh, when it comes time to actually load it up and shoot, you know, this is, we have a rifle to do that with. So that's fun. 
Now, for his battle belt, I have this, uh, it's like a, one of those old mil-spec webbing belts, right? One of the old, like, Alice Gear webbing belts um, that we just shrunk all the way down as small as we could. I got this uh, as a gift, actually, uh, with this metal canteen. And, uh, and so that's kind of what I used to build the basis of this. I had these suspenders from something else um, that I bought, so that I threw on here. So I built them basically like a Vietnam era kind of LBE British kit, you know, kind of kind of deal is what I did. Um, so threw these suspenders on here because that's going to help distribute the weight, right? And then uh, last thing I did is I removed the metal buckle that came with it, and I replaced it with this plastic, uh, like I don't know, what's this two and a half inch like proper click in buckle, right? So we can be clicked in. Cause we tried it with the metal one, but we were having some issues and it was coming undone cause it relied on tension and whatever. So this one, once he clicks in now, you know, he's good, right? So I, this is heavily modded, okay? But I had to do some mods to make this work. But now that I got it dialed in, I think, I think we're good to go. Um, this is all built from like spare pieces, right? So this is a uh, MP1522 mag, right? So just AR pattern mag. Uh, this is a high-speed gear uh, mag pouch, and this one is actually the one designed for belts because it Velcros on the back here, right? So that, I just Velcroed around this just fine, stuffed the mag in there, and we're ready to party, you know? Uh, I had it in black because I bought it years ago before I got smart and stopped buying stuff in black. Uh, this is a dump pouch. This is some Chinese Amazon, you know, simple dump pouch. Nothing, nothing complicated or complex here. That way he can stash his empties and skittles and whatever else uh, i did on a lot of these and you can see this is new i haven't snipped these yet but i've zip tied a lot of these into place so they don't slide up and down the belt um because we we're having some some issues with that so i've added some zip ties i still have to come through and cut these off because like i said these are all these are all new uh, but that way again nothing nothing's going to shift around Next up here, this is a pocket knife. Uh, I'm pretty sure he added this pouch on. I don't, I don't think I did. Um, and uh, that way he has his, his pocket knife with him, right? Because it's important to have your knife, your multi-tool, whatever. Uh, we, went, we have a canteen for water here. So originally I had a pouch in here. It wasn't working out too hot. So this is just some Milserp um, canteen pouch is what this is. That apparently I have uh, tightened up too much. So we need to fix fix that a little bit but that way he can carry a quart of water on him uh, he also has his his official canteen cup in there right so which we haven't used that yet but he has used the canteen been pretty effective again just in an old mill syrup um, canteen pouch here that uh, I died had a bad dye job to it it's my fault it's hideous I hate it uh, but that that's what's there we have a tourniquet here, uh, just, you know, cat tourniquet. Cat tourniquets will fit on kids. There's a big thing about, you know, you need a rat's tourniquet because the cat won't fit or whatever. Um, cat, okay? I, I'm, a, I'm one of the people that hates rat's tourniquets um, and think they belong in the garbage. I made a video once about how the rat's tourniquet wasn't good and I got so much hate for that, but I, I don't like them. Um, so I'm a cat tourniquet guy. This will fit on a kid. If you don't believe me, pull your cat out, get your kid out. Try to fit it on their arm. I'm telling you, you can, you can get it down pretty, pretty small. I mean, you can really get that sucker down there to get around their arm. And then this is just his reload, right? Extra mag for, uh, for his gun. So, you know, all in, you're looking at two mags. And this is some old Milserp, sorry, this is some old Milserp uh, AR pouch that doesn't really have a lot of life left in it. But you get the idea here, right? So he's going to carry two mags, one in the gun, some water, dump pouches, pocket knife, and a tourniquet, because you always need to have at least that on you, right? So yeah, I mean, he doesn't have a full life hack, but again, you know, he's, he's nine, so this is all the real estate that there is on this belt, right? But this way, he's able to slap this sucker on, and uh, he can go out and get some training in, and start developing himself into a little warrior. And as he gets bigger, faster, stronger, right, the belt will get bigger, we'll add more stuff, et cetera, et cetera. He'll be wearing one of my chest rigs soon enough. So. That's it. That's uh, my son's little battle rattle. I hope it inspires you to build your son's battle rattle so that they can be further equipped to be dangerous men. Do brave deeds and endure.